Hi guys, David and David here from payitforward.com and upphone.com. And in this video, we're going to show you what to do when your iPhone 11, 11 Pro, or 11 Pro Max won't ring. The first fix is really simple. Just make sure that the ring silent switch is in the ring position. You probably know about this, but people would come into the Apple store not knowing about it. Yep. So. so that's mm -hmm. on the left edge of your iPhone. Just pull that towards the screen. Yep. Now, as you can see, it says ringer on the screen. Mm -hmm. If you push it back to the back of the uh, iPhone, the silent mode is on. Mm -hmm. So ring switch is when it is pulled towards the screen. Right, next step is to turn up the ringer volume. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people think that they can just hit the volume buttons on the side of their iPhone. Go ahead and do that. I will do that. Yep, and that that's going to affect the volume of their ringer. That is not necessarily the case. You can be blasting audio on YouTube, but your ringer can be all the way down and silent. Mm -hmm. And let's show them how that happens. Let's go to settings, and then we're gonna head to sounds and haptics. And then just be aware of this button that says change with buttons. So let's turn that off and put your ringer all the way down. Perfect. Now, if you use the volume buttons on the side of your iPhone, you can see that the volume is now going all the way up, all the way down, but the ringer is completely silent. Yep. So what I do personally is I put the slider right about in the middle because that's about where I want my ringer always to be. Mm -hmm. And I turn off change with buttons so that the ringer is always gonna be on when I expect it to. Silent mode still works still not gonna ring. Right. But David, however, likes to be able to change the volume of his ringer with the buttons. I do. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and turn that back on. Turn that on. Now when you turn the volume up and down. Go. Maybe my ringtone will play here. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be really quiet though because yeah. you're doing a screen record. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Next step, turn off Do Not Disturb. So the simplest way to turn off Do Not Disturb is in the Settings app, open Settings, tap Do Not Disturb. Mm -hmm. and then turn off the switch next to Do Not Disturb. Yep, and there's a shortcut to do this too. And yeah, you can also do it from Control Center, swipe down from the upper right-hand corner of the screen. And then it's that moon icon. Yep. Perfect, Do Not Disturb is on. There we go. Next, we need to make sure that your iPhone isn't connected to any Bluetooth devices. And the reason is that sometimes you can be getting phone calls and it could be ringing, but it's not ringing with your phone. It's ringing with your Bluetooth headset in the car, or it's ringing in the car with the car Bluetooth. So yep. it's wearing it in the bedroom with the Bluetooth speaker. So we wanna just eliminate that possibility. Just head to Bluetooth settings and turn off Bluetooth temporarily and have somebody try to give you a phone call. If it rings in your phone, you know that it was a Bluetooth device that was getting the signal for the ringer and yep. not your iPhone. So that should fix that problem. So the next step is to make sure that your iPhone isn't in headphones mode. If it is in headphones mode, it'll be trying to ring and it'll be ringing in your headphones that aren't necessarily plugged in. Mm -hmm. So here's a pair of headphones. Go ahead and plug these in. We made that look easy. That was easy. Yeah. Yeah. Plugged in. So now you can tell if your iPhone is in headphones mode. Open Control Center by swiping down from the upper right hand corner of the screen. Press and hold on the volume slider. Mm -hmm. And if your iPhone is in headphones mode, you'll see that nice little headphone logo right there. Right above the iPhone. Yep. yep. And then if it's not in headphones mode, It'll say iPhone. Mm -hmm. As you noticed, the volume changed. It yep. saves the different levels for different devices. Yes. Now, if, you're, yeah, if your iPhone is in headphones mode, uh, we would recommend taking a anti-static brush mm -hmm. or a brand new toothbrush and just cleaning out your charging port down here because there's likely something, some gunk stuck in there. Yep. And that's making your iPhone think that headphones are plugged in. If none of this has worked, you might want to DFU restore your iPhone. DFU stands for Device Firmware Update, and it's the deepest type of restore that you can do on an iPhone, and it fixes all sorts of little problems, including hardware problems. So to do that, check out our video called How to DFU Restore an iPhone 11, 11 Pro, 11 yep. Pro Max. Link in a card above and the description section below. Mm -hmm. If your iPhone still won't ring after the DFU Restore, there's probably a hardware problem, maybe the speaker mm -hmm. is a little busted. Uh, Apple Store, mm -hmm. get it repaired. Especially if it's under warranty. Yep. If it's not under warranty and this is in the future. Yep. Third party repair Third options, we'll link to some of those in the description section below. Mm -hmm. Yep. Thank you guys for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great iPhone videos.